What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to episode number 13 of the Ultimate Team. As you can see here guys, I have bought some bronze packs just to um, improve the squad a little bit on some stuff. I uh, wanted some new kits and balls and uh, if you get some fitness cards in the bronze packs then you are laughing. Um, you know, they, they sell for now like 150 to 200 coins bin um, but since the, you know, because of the price crash, the, pro the price, the market crash even, um, but yeah, you know, they they can potentially sell for 250, 300 coins, which almost pays for the pack back. And I like to get a few of the gold, the bronze contracts, uh, just because you never know when you're going to need them, you know. So uh, like I say, I, I kind of just bought a few bronze packs. I'll make pretty much my money back. And I feel like the contracts are worth it. There's another fitness card there, a couple of silver balls as well, um, which is nice. And I was hoping for a manager, to be perfectly honest. Uh, because I'm going to need a manager for this team, uh, especially after the episode that um, I talked about. So at the end of the last episode, I sold the whole team that I had because I was fed up with that team, that Premiership team that I had. And here's the players that I bought. So the team that I've got is a 4-3-2-1 Serie A team. Uh, in defence, I've got Amero and Jonathan on the wings. Uh, I've got Ogbonna and Gambarini in defence. And then in midfield, I've got Freddy Guarin. Uh, Vidal and Zarate because he's got four star skills and a lot of pace and the uh, the wide the outside centre midfielders in a 4-3-2-1 really attack and then on the wings I've got Martinez I, th I think his name's Martinez it's probably not now that I've said that um, and Lamella on the right I eventually hope to get Robinho and up front of course I have got Muriel um, so I just showed you briefly there the prices if you want to go back and check them out you can at the time they were all bought well well under value I don't know if I'll be able to sell them on for much more now for the simple fact that the, the market is really really crashing um, and here's the team that I did list guys so I listed my premiership team once again um, I, you know I, I got for all of them more than I paid for them back in uh, the start of this series which is pretty awesome you know making a nice bit of a trade profit on some of them only 100 maybe 200 coins um, but on most of them three four some even five or six hundred coins and as you can see in the top right hand corner there I had like 56,000 coins after I sold all of these and I finally managed to sell that inform Kiesling uh, I made a around um, I think it was about 30 or 40 coins profit on him because uh, I picked him up for ten and a half thousand and thought he would sell for 12 or 13 thousand but he didn't but just doing a bit more trading here guys as you can see I picked up a few of the players uh, I've been trading with silvers a lot and I've been trading with um, English players a lot recently you'll see how much I make in the coming episodes but I've made a lot of coins I'm actually getting to the point now where I've almost got a hundred thousand coins from trading and I can start trading informs and really build myself a really decent team um, but yeah in uh, silvers are a real good way to go about it and I traded these um, formation cards on open bids and picked up a Thomas of Marlin there as well for real cheap I actually picked up two Thomas of Marlins and I make well over a thousand coins on each one of them and formation cards guys although now I talk about it it's going to kind of lose it uh, if you go to the 59th minute and put a 350 minimum buy now bid and a 500 maximum buy now bid and you see any formation anything like 352 4321 4312 uh, 433 442 uh, just pick them up straight away and list them up for like double the price and you will sell them uh, they might take an hour or two you might have to relist them one or two times but you will eventually sell them which is awesome but anyway guys we're in division three right now with nine points in we need two more wins to get ourselves into division two and uh, we come up against this team. He's got Aruna Kone up front, and he's got a pretty pacey Premiership squad. Um, but he hasn't got the best chemistry, and for some reason he's got Shea Given in goal. However, one of my Twitter followers told me that Shea Given is an incredibly overpowered goalkeeper in this game. So uh, I might w might well want to try him out. I don't think he's overpowered myself, but you never know. You know, sometimes the weirdest players are overpowered. Uh, sometimes that's just you know that's just how it is. Um, and I, I take a one nil lead, and I think I thought to myself like you know. I changed teams because I wasn't happy and sorry I take a 1-0 def deficit and I changed teams because I wasn't happy and I thought oh god I'm, maybe I've made a mistake here and I went 2-0 down as well quick after um, but I actually changed to attacking and the difference between balanced and attacking in 4-3-2-1 is huge uh, I took the sweaty sweaty goal there to get myself back into the game uh, Eric Lamella there scoring on his uh, on his debut and Eric Lamella of course has five star skills and is a fantastic player he doesn't have the best pace which is a shame which is why I picked him over Palacio which is why yeah, he doesn't have the best pace, which is why you might pick Palacio over him. Um, but he scores another goal there on his on, on his debut to make it 2-2. And at this point, like I was controlling the game, um, it, it actually became quite easy. Like I say, when you play attacking, like it's just there's just so many players pouring forwards. It's Gomez, the player that I had, not um, Martinez. God, Jesus, how do I get that, that wrong? Um, 
and you can see here like I've got like a six on three here you know uh, and I just wrap up the win there with the four two uh, with Muriel scoring on his debut as well to make it four two and at that stage guys I think this guy had pretty much had enough and decided that he did not want to play anymore he pauses the game after 61 minutes and quits and after he was two nil up you know that that's not stuff you want to be doing I, I hate throwing away leads in general but a one nil lead you can kind of accept losing um, but when you throw away a 2-0 lead you know it, it's hard it hurts because you think how did I get 2-0 up and then lose it but yeah so we get the the 12 points we're guaranteed promotion into division 3 we've still got four games left to get um, the the three points that we need and uh, here we go again guys just selling on some more of the stuff that I had in the team uh, this is the stuff that didn't sell or that I listed because of what I bought from last time uh, that Thomas Vermeil on there as I saw it said selling for 6700 coins he was a good player to trade with he's one of the players that's really plummeted in price over the last week or so because of the team of the year is going to be coming out very shortly in the next sort of seven to ten days now but I did still manage to make a couple of thousand coins profit on him. Uh, just for those of you that wonder, like you asked me to show how much I make on trading and stuff. Basically, the way I had been trading, it was just impossible for me to show you because it, it, like things were everywhere, selling, messing up. You know, some things I'd have to relist three or four times. Some things would sell instantly and stuff. So I've showed you all the trades. Another dirty cut back there. Jesus Christ! I really need to get some skilling back on. Um, yeah. So I'm, what I'm going to do, guys, is just show you all the trades for the next few episodes. But I've I've actually started trading a different way now, a different method. Um, so it'll be very very much easier for me to show you guys exactly who I pick up, how much for, and then how much to sell them on for, and how much profit I make. So I'll actually do it the trading videos as a an actual trading video where we'll start the video with like say 35,000 coins we'll spend 35,000 coins on players we'll sell them and then we'll see how much profit we made at the end of the video and maybe it'll be 45 50,000 coins by the time it finishes maybe 10 or 15k profit and um, so that's how it's going to be in the next couple of episodes um, and yeah so for this this episode though guys I went 3-0 up this team is is a good team it can be improved I do need Rubinho I quite like Pato instead of Muriel as well even though Muriel is very good and I need to strengthen that midfield because although they are good players it just doesn't feel right um, I need some I might try and turn this team into a bit of a hybrid team uh, Lamella scoring there from the corner I might try and t turn this team into a bit of a hybrid team and go back into a premiership defence or maybe a Brazilian defence with David Luiz and Felipe Santana um, just because they're two very good centre backs and then I can have Jonathan at right back still and maybe put um, you know any maybe Marcelo at left back or something like that so 5-1 is the full-time score, guys. Uh, I do win that game quite comfortably as well, which is awesome. So I've got two wins out of two with this team, which is nice. This is a really good team to play with, really enjoyable. But like I say, I do want to add a few more players to it just to just to improve it a little bit. And uh, just before we end the video here, guys, or like a, a bit before we end the video, so we do get promoted. We go into Division 2. We get 8,500 coins for winning that division, which is nice. But after we finish there, it's now a Monday whilst I'm recording this footage. So I got on the web app as my free gift. I got a, sil a mini silver pack, and because it's Monday, I get my um, season ticket pack. But I did manage to sell on most of the stuff that was in my trade pile. I've just got that badge that's left from that bronze pack and the David De Gea. Uh, that I picked up for 2,000 coins that I don't think I'm going to make any profit on. I might actually make a loss on one of the players. But here we go into the store, guys. And like I say, I got a mini silver pack in my daily gift and I wanted to show you guys that. There was nothing special in it. Um, it was really, really bad. Like, not even a single thing. It, it's nice sometimes if you get, like, a, a free pack and you get some nice stuff in it. I mean, the contract will be pretty nice, but I just store all the stuff in the club. And then I open the free season ticket pack, and I get somebody who I was going to save and trade for. Uh, and I picked up Robinho in a 4-3-3. So he's going to get nine chemistry. And that is an amazing pack for a team that I've just built. I literally couldn't have asked for more. Four-star four weak foot, five-star skills. Just absolutely fantastic news. Really, really happy with them. Um, picking up Robinho there so he'll go straight into the squad and uh, that's awesome so we are coming towards the end of the episode now guys I did sell off just uh, one more thing there with that David De Gea and I picked up some more stuff uh, just there and I picked up all those formation cards for 450 coins and I picked up the David Luiz for 2,000 coins and I picked up a Robinho there as you can see for that price and I'll try and list him for a few thousand coins more see if I can make a bit of profit on him um, but uh, we'll see in the next episode if that happens so guys if you did enjoy this video hit the like button it would be awesome as always thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time cheers